Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome back to Mutant Year Zero. So, we are now in the Cave of Fear, which sounds awesome. So, while I was editing the last episode, I noticed that I seemed really, um, I don't know, overly hesitant, whatever. I feel like I've gotten a handle now on how more of this is going to work. I do want to switch some stuff around here. In particular, Selma does not have a second weapon. I am actually going to go ahead. I might give you the scat scatter gun or a stinger. Actually, just take a pistol. That's fine. I was thinking of giving her the scatter gun because. Wait, that's way better damage. Uh, never mind. Okay. I guess, I guess, never mind whatever it was I was going to say. Um, so I'm not totally clear always on what the AI is going to do. In something like XCOM, I've spent so much time playing the game that, you know, I know what all the optimal moves are. I don't fully have that nailed down here, so... A place for a mass grave. What were all these people doing? Running away, I think. Maybe the Red Plague hit their town and they needed to evacuate. Evacuating or stampeding over each other to be the first one out. Dumbass ancients. Mm-hmm. I agree. Let's play this cool. This place is definitely going to be crawling. Mm-hmm. Stuff. Okay, let's move around to the left. I want to kind of get the lay of the land, if you will. It's really hard to see the stuff on... You know the stalkers we captured, right? Right? They, uh... They ran away. I lost them. What? The stalkers escape. The bubble huts are gonna be mad at you. You better get them back. I can't. The boat took them across the river. And oh. the bubble heads have the boat. But where's your boat? If you don't get those stalkers back, they'll shrink your brain. Hmm, okay. Okay, so we've got some guys over there, clearly. Let's fade around the outside here. There's okay. stuff over here. You had me at the ghoul screams, but now a pile of friggin' bodies? You wanna give me a heart attack? What's wrong with the pile of bodies? Okay, I see movement. Yep. Okay, let's split Got up ahead. quick here. You stay there. Um... Uh oh. Back up, back up, back up. Um, I'm actually gonna ambush this guy. Crap, apparently when he comes back. Eight damage, uh, no problem. No problem at all. And I'd like to clear someone out way at the beginning here. So you come hide here. And you come over here. Actually, wait, which one of you has the height bonus, like, hat or whatever? Crit from high ground. Um, why don't you just take that off, and you can just wear it for the moment. We'll toss that hat up. Oh, a duck and a top hat, too. Come on, forget about it. Okay. Pyro, level, ooh, level 10. 16 hit points, so we can't kill him outright. So we're going to want to be careful when we engage him. Very careful. All right, so let's wait for that butcher to come back. We'll see how many guys there are. With 10 sneaky damage now, I feel like if we're careful, we can pick off an awful lot of supporting characters before we go big. Um, going loud is exciting. But at least now I understand how like med kits and healing and death and stuff work. These are all very good things to understand. You know what, we'll just hide here, even though that's not the direction that I'm going to be working from. All right, let's wait for him to come back. Damage five. Yep, and damage five. Yep. All right, come on, Butcher. There he is. Let's let him get as close as possible. And actually, I'm gonna open from the ground. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, ready? Right here. Activate. Nice and quiet. One down, yeah. This is the crossbow, right? Okay, yep. Problem solved. Bye-bye. Okay, so we can see more about what's going over there now. 
There's a pyro and something. And I guess I can't see what else there is. Okay. Level up. Hooray! Do we want to do anything with these points at the moment? Two points. Getting health might be nice. For all of you, quite frankly. Although I do want the wings. Yeah, let's spend a point here to get more health. I like these little animations, by the way. These are cool. Okay, good job. And you go ahead and get a health as well. Ducks, I still want the wings, which is why I'm waiting. Okay, good. So, we don't want to head over there quite yet. See, there's like no climb down button. Hey guys, come here. I got this. Cover me. Alright. So we got the one. It happens to be really bright in my room right now. So I'm having a hard time seeing what's going on up here. So I'm just as blind as they are. Which is kind of cool. Okay, looking for movement. Okay. Well, this is really lightly guarded. That's not even slightly suspicious. Molotov, good, good. And there's something over here. Yeah, these bodies aren't even slightly creepy. That's totally, totally awesome. A note. Dear Tina, there's no way out. I'm trapped here in my car. The traffic stopped moving days ago and the tunnel collapsed. I'm not sure you'll ever get to read this. She didn't. But in case you do, I have something to admit, something which I'm very sorry for and regret I may carry to the grave. You remember that period your pet turtle Snappy didn't swim up to you when you called his name? That's because it wasn't Snappy, but a replacement turtle, as unfortunately the first Snappy perished when I accidentally dropped my beard trimmer in his tank. It was quick. He didn't feel anything other than the first few minutes of absolute agony. I thought you should know. Also, he is now a she. The store ran out of male turtles, and I was worried you would be upset. Sorry, I love you. Always yours, Jonas. I would love to have a beard trimmer good enough to electrocute a turtle. Okay, there's somebody. Because mine sucks and I hate it. And I keep meaning to buy a new one. Okay. Another guy we can take out pretty easily. Stay back. Okay. Doesn't look like he's moving. Which is suspicious in its own way, mind you. I don't suppose there's cover over here for you? No. But I really don't see anything else within range of him. So I think we should be okay. Here, just stay over here. Yeah. Uh, this seems this seems okay. Let's just go ahead and let's just take it. I mean, he's got a wrench. And wrenches are no joke. Only 75? Actually, I think I'm going to move up. Is there anybody I'm going to trigger? How close would I have to get to get to 100? Right here. That's fine. Go ahead and move over here. I was going to say, you cannot miss these. Okay, problem solved. Bam. Done. Okay. And regroup. Okay, so we've got two more potential baddies. We still know where those guys are. That's interesting that we can still kind of see them. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. we got guys over here to kill. Hopefully. And sparkly stuff. Oh, and I missed something over there. Broken gun. Okay. It looks like there may just be the two of them. But I don't trust that, obviously. So I've got some high ground on the left. This looks like maybe even some high ground on the right. Okay, let's split up in case something Stay bad back. happens. Okay, so I see one. It's a hunter. 16 health. Oh, and a medbot.
Hmm. If I'm going to take them, I think I do want the high ground over on this side. Let's go take a look at it. I don't think this is going to be close enough to get shots off, though, but let's find out. Be nice to get rid of the pyro, but then the medbot has to be priority too, and I don't like that. Come back. So if we were to ambush, are you within weapon range? Yes. Although that range is really awful. Hmm. Can you see the other guy? I didn't even look. Out of range. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's do it anyway. I think we can take these three. I mean, the medbot is not a direct threat. We just need to get it down before it has a chance to do anything obnoxious. And we do have this root ability with her that I've never actually used. So that might be a good thing to do too, to keep the medbot away from the corpses and give us time to kill the other two. In fact, that's really quite a good idea. So, if I decided not to do that, what would your shots look like from up here? A hundred on the pyro. And then 75 on the other two. Oh, that scope is really quite nice. And if I decide to use this instead... They aren't highlighting, but I think... If I understand this correctly, I could root all three of them right where they are. And that would actually be an even better idea. Okay, let's get moved up here then. I like this plan. I think this is a good idea. I think this is going to work great. So it looks like we are going to have to take out the pyro first. But that is okay, because the pyro is probably the more dangerous of the two. I really don't like getting set on fire. I really dislike it. I think I can get to here. Alright. So what's the right order to open that in? I suppose it doesn't really matter. We get all three of our turns first, right? I think so. Okay. Well. Okay. Oh, actually... Dux does not need to be using his silent gun. He can use this one instead. And that is 100% hit. Actually, on all, all of them. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I hate it how you guys unhide when I do that. Well, let's open with the root. Because that's going to end my turn. Oh, no, it doesn't. So I can root and then shoot. Oh, yeah. God, I hope this works the way I expect it to. Let's give it a try. Wait. Why does it say I can't do it? Is it because I'm not in combat yet? Okay. Well, whatever. We're going to do this anyway. So let's just go ahead and let's just do it. Ambush. Again, we're going to start on the pyro. Because we just are. Oh, I had the wrong weapon. But luckily you hit it anyway. So that was good. Okay, good. Yeah, the enemy heard you. Yeah, no kidding. Oh no, why can't I... Why can't I use this? Oh, that's pretty bad. Okay. Well, let's shoot him. I mean, I, I can kill him. So... Go ahead and shoot him. Okay, and Borman. Ooh, only 75, actually. Um, what would I have to do to get you to 100%? I'd have to go up to here. Make you super easy to flank. Since my root didn't work, I think I am going to gamble on this 75%. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. You got this, buddy. Okay, pyro down. Damn, you a grog. That was amazing. Yeah, the enemy heard me. Really. 
Hey, the hunter is going to move up to full cover. Hmm. Annoying. And we know what the bed bot's going to do, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, does this have the thing on it that's... No, that's the rifle, right? That's got the anti-mechanical thing? Yes. So let's try to disable it. Did it disable it? No. Okay. Um... Okay, that's one option. Alternatively... What can Borman do here? He can get right up here and take a point-blank shot. That's pretty dangerous. Um... Because I can't follow that up. Boy, he takes a lot of damage, this poor guy. I gotta give him attachment that um, sets guys on fire. Oh, actually, now I can hit the hunter. Let's shoot the hunter. Let's see what he does. He's gonna pull back and shoot Borman. That's not too bad, though. Oh, crap. He got back up. That's not good. That's real bad. That's real bad. That's real bad. Um... I can kill the hunter. I can almost kill the pyro. Okay. Alternatively... Um... I don't like being set on fire, by the way. I don't- I don't care for this at all. So if you reload... Or alternatively, hold on. What is your- what does your other gun look like, shot-wise? 100% on the pyro. 75% on the hunter. Um, we can put the pyro down. Yeah, let's- let's put him down. Okay, so switch over. Yep. Um, reload, which takes one action. Yep. And this has five damage. This has, oh, four damage. Well. Take the shot anyway. Okay. Now, Borman, I'm a little less sure what I'm going to do with you. Um... I mean, the grenade might be a good idea. Yeah, okay. Alternatively, you can just kill the hunter outright or the pyro. Okay, you kill the hunter outright. And then Borman can kill the pyro. Nice shot. Yep. And then Borman, come over here. Okay, and go ahead and take out the pyro. Well done. And we've only got one turn to kill this thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get a reload. Okay, go ahead and get the shot. I can't tell if that knockback, like, interrupts it. I think it might, actually. Nice shot. I'm not sure we can kill it. But we'll give it a try. No, I don't think we can. Oh, yep, it had to move again. Yes, good. Good, good, good. And bye bye Okay, I'm not loving the fire. But besides that... That went okay. So, all right. Back me up. Everyone, let's come meet up. Let's go loot this place. Well, that could have gone worse. Smoke grenade, that's nice. Ooh, hello. 
Ancient drill unit which can be mounted to any weapon and adds a high speed spin, increases the chance of knocking back its target. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Okay, common scrap, a chest, which contains... State Switcher, a long-range rail rifle formed of parallel banks of batteries and magnets. This allows the State Switcher to file a metal slug. This is a rail gun. <gasps> I love it. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay. And there's some more sparkles back here. Is there more baddies back here? Let's find out. Old tool scrap. Yep. Let's turn the flashlight off and approach this a little more carefully. I don't remember hearing anything from over here, but that doesn't mean much. That just means they weren't talking. Okay. So far, so good. Yep, this area is clear. Right? Yes. A med kit. Oh, hello, med kit. A broken gun. Good, good, good. Hey, this one okay, right? Very nice. And I'll switch weapons around once we kind of... Actually, actually, let's make that decision right now. So, I don't want each of you to have, like, something that only has one shot to it. Look at that range, though. But it's not quiet, and it has less damage. You know what? I'm actually just going to hold on to that until I've upgraded some. Because I don't feel like it's actually an improvement over her current setup. But with the weapon mod or two, there's no question about it that it'll be awesome. Okay, there's some more stuff up here I missed. Okay, now we can head on out of here. What a cool area down here, by the way. I love it. These specular reflections do make it hard to see whether or not I'm looking at loot or just, you know, something glimmering. I thought I saw loot. Did I not? Um, apparently not. Okay. Maybe I just saw the exit. Well, whatever. We'll be back here at some point, I'm sure. Ambulance, yeah. Well, here we are. The Sea Titans. Okay. Investigate the crash site. Right. Hammond told me he wanted to cross a big body of water to get to a place called the House of Bones. He said yeah. the crash site was near there. The House of Bones. Yeah, won't that be awesome? Oh, hello. Box. What do we have over here? Quietly. Ooh, another hat. Plus 20% crit when hidden. Neat. Alright, who should get that? I suppose it doesn't really matter, just so everybody's wearing a hat. Actually, that's a good one for you, because you'll be shooting from concealment. Okay, can I get over here? I can. Hi, dead guy. What's up with you? Hand grenade. Nice. Anything back here? Uh, no. Okay. So what's going on down here, anyway? It's not going to be anything good. It never is. Let's silhouette ourselves against the ridgeline here. Hmm. I can't tell, but I see loot. No movement, but that doesn't mean anything yet. Oh, okay. Something over here. This looks like a note. Let's go take a look. Okay, so this is really weird. Whilst me and the crew were on an expedition up to the north, we found a strange artifact that we believe was used to keep things cold. But it was sitting in the old palace to the east of the House of the Bones, which is in a permanent state of cold anyway. The ancients were a strange bunch. Frankly, buddy, I agree. What's this? Med kit? Good, 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 good. I should probably use some of those, to be honest. keep looking for dead duck bodies, but I never see one. Are we the only mutants in the zone? You're right. There are no mutants in the zone. I've been checking bodies ever since you mentioned it. That's worrying. Is 
stupid bird. Okay. Okay, there's the guy over there. Do you see him? That's not good. Ah, making my head spin. Did you hear that? I heard um, the same voices when me and Hammond got ambushed. Just a single marauder. Um, we can take him for sure. Let's kind of get spread out here just a little. Um, I don't know where to put you. You're just going to get flanked kind of no matter what. Oh, you see a guy back there? I see him. Okay, and there's some stuff over there to the left. There's a guy kind of back there at a campfire. And there's something... Oh, it's a bird. Stupid birds. I don't trust you. Okay, here are footsteps. Yep, okay, there's that marauder. Let's let him get as close as possible. And I want to open with you. Because your aim's the worst. Yeah, see? So, actually, maybe I don't want to open with you. Because I could move you up. Oh, this is also only 75%. Okay. Why? What, what was the modifier there? Just range. Well, take the shot. Oh, does that hurt? Good, good, good. Okay. So now that we've been discovered, now we can go ahead and walk a little. And that's fine. 100%. 75. 100%. Because he's about to die anyway, so it doesn't matter that he's seen us. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay, me. good. Wasted him. Okay, next one down. Okay. How about you guys hide here a second? And let's go just scout one on. Scrap, okay, good. Because that's a pretty nasty camp over there. What's going on back here? Holy ancient power. Feel my words inside you, taking control. I wish you wouldn't. Oh, interesting. So this is another zone. A note. If you want to keep your face, avoid the north. The northern ghoul tribe is planning something huge up at the lair of the Horned Devil. They've grabbed an ancient power source that's twice the size of the one back in the Ark and have been spotting he uh, hauling heavy lumps of heavy equipment. Do not attempt to go forth further north. Ghouls will eat you. Well, that's inspiring. All right, well, let's not go that way anyway, because that's not where we're trying to go. We're trying to go this way. So this is probably the level 20 guy that we can't fight that it warned us about on the map. But that's okay. It actually kind of looks like we can get past him, doesn't it? I feel like I have a hard time stealthing with all three of them, because I can't control exactly where they're going to stand. So let's take just ducks and try to take a look around. This is super dangerous. Okay, I see something up there. Um, a message. Eric, I need you to gather the children and take the next ferry without me. I'll join you at the shelter very soon. My phone calls aren't going through, so I pray you receive this message. The soldiers have told me, have told those of us who have the red eye infection to wait at the dock. Yeah. Okay, I see someone over there. It's judgment day. Oh, stop Sarah. it. Obey me, and your soul will be saved. Nobody who ever says that is actually going to save your soul. Nobody. Nobody ever. Can ducks enter water? No, that's right. We already established that, didn't we? Okay, broken weapon parts. Requires evac control key. Okay. That's probably on the big guy. Alright, I think we'll be able to get around here. Oh, yep, Marauder level 8. Here, come back here and hide. Okay, that should be a nice safe spot for you. So now, let's shift our way up. Another level 8 Marauder, we can take him without any trouble. 
Nice and quiet. Okay, we can see him kind of stomping around. Let's get everyone up here first. I can probably move up to the next boat, but I really wanted to make sure that, um... They were going to be safe, because I was going to be, you know, tabbing around to the next character. So, let's get up here, and let's give this a try. Um, you hide back here. Come move up here. Actually, it looks like I can fit all three over here, can't I? It might be a good idea, just in case we really need to, like, you know, make a lot of noise. Yes. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Alright, let's just wait for him to come back. Right here. Let's hope he gets close enough we can actually get a good ambush this time. That last one was pretty scary. Okay, come here. We want to make sure you don't get any incidental cover either. Was well, that as close as you're gonna get? Hmm. It looks like I could get a better ambush than if I go off to the right. You see what I mean? Like right over there to that corner. Is this fence cover? Gather on the ship, Shh. my children. Your destiny awaits. We believe, Reverend. We believe. Yeah! Hear my voice within your heads. The Ark calls you ghouls, but you are beautiful. You are oh, crap. children of the ancients. Smite the unbelievers. Destroy the Ark. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Great. All right, well, let's wait for that Marauder. Here he comes. Now, we should definitely be able to whack him without any trouble. Because we're going to be at basically point blank range. Come here, buddy. Alright, ambush time. 100% silent weapon. Nice crit. Silent weapon. 100%. Dead. Problem solved. You right. oh, man, Shut up. Shot. Don't make so much damn noise, okay? So, I am not convinced that we can fight a level 28 guy. And by not convinced, I mean absolutely confident that we cannot. Do I have to, though? This is the boat. What an incredible piece of junk. At least it floats, right? Well... Ostensibly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go past these guys. I don't think I'll be able to snipe those guys from up top, either. Yeah. They don't have much health, but... Hmm. Hmm. Tricky. Alright, let's head back over here and regroup. Will I be able to get past these guys without opening on them? No. Definitely not. Okay. Well, I tell you what. This is a good point to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, I'm going to figure out what to do with these guys. It's probably going to involve explosives and stuff like that. At least I don't see any medbots. So, in any case, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you then.